This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Excel has been able to manipulate and play with and filter and sort data for quite a few versions now. But one introduction in 2010 that has been a little overlong in coming is the ability to find and remove duplicates in your data. Quite easily, duplicates occur through copy and paste or typing errors or just mismanagement of the data. And it would be quite useful if at time to time you could remove those duplicates. Well, now you have a remove duplicates tool. So within your data set, and we're going to use our employees info, which is in the working folder, on the data ribbon is a nice big button that says remove duplicates. If you give that a click, you then need to decide which of the columns within your data Excel needs to compare. And by default, they're all selected. So it would be looking at every single column and saying, right, if they're all the same, then they are a duplicate. I would like to unselect all of them and ask it to check the ID, first name, and the surname. So if there's any repetition at all between those three fields, so if anybody's ID, first name, and surname is exactly the same as anybody else's ID, first name, and surname, they are a duplicate and one of the records must be removed. So I click OK and it says no duplicate values found, which is great. So no one's got a duplicate ID. If I then go back to remove duplicates and unselect all and ask it just to check the first name and the surname and probably the postcode, if somebody has the same first name, surname and postcode, their record is a duplicate. They are the same person. And then say OK. It says four duplicate values were found and removed, which leaves 100 unique values. OK. And it's done it. It's removed them. The only drawback to the remove duplicates tool from a personal point of view is I don't know who's just gone. So without comparing this file to a copy of the original file, obviously I would keep as backup. I wouldn't know who was missing and who's been removed. So that's something to keep in mind when you're looking at using the remove duplicates tool is that you keep a backup of the file just in case it takes away people who it shouldn't have taken away, possibly because you hadn't asked it to compare the right number of columns. So the tool's there, it's on the data ribbon, remove duplicates. You tell it which columns to compare with. By default, it checks all of them. So in that case, the whole row would have to be repeated before it classed it as a duplicate doesn't find any in this case, so no duplicate values are found. When it does, it tells you how many it's taken away, but not which ones.